Hi everyone! In this video we're going to talk about determining if functions are one-to-one. -one. If you've never watched one of my videos before, you want to pause and try the examples when prompted. It'll just make the video a little more meaningful to you. And there are always free guided notes available at DivideAndConquerMath.com. And hey, while you're here, maybe you consider liking my video or subscribing to my channel or leaving me a comment. I'm trying to grow the channel, so that really helps me out when you do that. Okay, so before we get started, the first thing that I want to make sure of is that you really understand functions. So I have just two very quick review exercises just to kind of refresh your memory. So what I want to do is um, with this first set. So determine whether or not this represents a function and then also tell me the domain and range. You can pause the video here, hit play when you're ready to see the solution. Okay. So in this case, so my domain, it's always the first coordinate and then my range is always the second coordinate and you never want to repeat. So my domain will be two and five while my range will be three, seven, and four. So I have two goes to three, five goes to seven, and two goes to four. And this right here is exactly why this is not a function. You cannot have one thing in the domain go to two separate things in the range. So that, that just can't happen. So that's not a function. Okay, so what about this one? Um, is this a function? And then also determine the domain and range. Hit play when you're ready. So the thing to notice here is that this is the point 2, 1. That will, be, that will come in handy in a moment. So first and foremost, is it a function? So yes, it passes the vertical line test. So that says that if I can just keep drawing vertical lines through it and it never intersects the function more than once, then we're good to go. So this is a function. Um, so now let's talk about domain and range. So the domain is what the X values are allowed to be. So as I go from left to right, what X values are kind of being taken up? So notice here it's nothing, 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 nothing. And then the domain starts right here. So what that means then is, uh, let's see, where do I want to put this? I'll put D here for domain. So my X values start here at the value 2, and they just keep going this way for forever. So in interval notation, it's 2 to infinity. 2 gets a square bracket to indicate that the 2 is included. Okay, now for the range. I'll just make this as an R. So now we're going from bottom to top. So as I look around here, so here's where I start. So this y value is y equals 1, and then it just will keep going up forever. So this is something that you should already feel pretty comfortable with before you start this. If you have no idea what this means, you might want to just go back and watch uh, my video on functions, and that will kind of get you up to speed before you start this. Okay, so now let's talk about one-to-one -one functions. Okay, so one-to-one -one functions are a specific type of function. So a function is one-to-one -one if each x value corresponds to exactly one y value and each y value corresponds to exactly one x value. So you might remember if you've watched um, some of my other videos just on how functions work. I have this kind of strange picture of like kind of modeling how function relationships work. And in the past I talked about, so this specifically is not a function, right? So I have two things in the domain or one thing in the domain going to two different things in the range. So that's like the thing you can't have. And I said that these were these modeled functions. But so we have two different types of functions. This type of relationship here is what we think of as one to one. So I'm just going to label this now as one to one. And so notice then, so just it's exactly one thing in the domain. So this side is my domain. Everything here is going to exactly one thing in the range. If I were to look here, I have two different things in the, the range going to, or sorry, two different things in the domain going to the same thing in the range. So this would violate that one-to-oneness. Okay, so that being said, now what I want to do is I want to go through a few exercises where we determine whether the following is a function, and then if it is a function, then it's a then is it a one-to-one -one function? So notice that once I say that it's not a function then I don't have to answer number two. One-to-one -one only has to deal with certain types of functions, so that's kind of the thing you want to look out for. So using a similar technique from before, so I, I'm going to just write out kind of everything in the domain, just kind of out of habit here. Okay, so remember, you don't want to write anything more than once on either side. So I, I just want to map the relationships here. So I've got 2 goes to 4, negative 1 goes to 7, and 3 goes to 7. So you can see just by looking at this, 
So this is a function. Yes, it is a function, but not one to one. Okay, so that's kind of what you're you're looking for. So why don't you try this one? Pause, hit play when you're ready. So if I do the same thing, so I've got three, negative one and negative three, and then six, two, and negative four. Three goes to six, negative one goes to two, and negative three goes to negative four. So this is both a function and it's also one to one. So it's both one, two, one. Okay. So now that we kind of get the nature of the relationship that we're looking for, now let's extend this to graphs. And just like we had the vertical line test, we have what's known as the horizontal line test for one-to-one -one functions. So if any horizontal line can be drawn through a function, if any, if any horizontal line drawn through a function does not intersect more than once, then the function is one-to-one. -one. So here's the one thing I wanna just caution you on. You have to have a function before you can determine this horizontal line test. So it's totally possible that you could conduct the horizontal line test and say like, oh, it's one-to-one, -one, but it was never a function to begin with, so you might make the wrong conclusion. So the big thing to pay attention to here is that it is a function. It's gotta be a function to start, or you can't test its one-to-oneness. So let's just take a look at a few examples here, and this is actually exactly what I'm trying to talk about. So if I wanna determine if the following are one-to-one -one functions, so what I have to do first is just determine if this is a function, which just by the vertical line test, I can tell it's not a function, but let's pretend for a second that I didn't do the vertical line test first. So what if I just went ahead and did the horizontal line test? Well, by the horizontal line test, it looks like none of these lines intersect the function more than once. So I might be tempted to say, oh, it's one-to-one. -one. But it can't be, it doesn't matter because the second it's not a function, then it can't be one-to-one. -one. You can't be a one-to-one -one function if you're not a function. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, okay, so why don't you try these two and then just hit play when you're ready. So for B, so it passes the vertical line test, so we're good to go there. And then if I do the horizontal line test, it passes there, so this is indeed a one-to-one function. So this one is good to go. Now this next one, it is a function, but it is not one to one. So I'll just summarize that. So it's function, but not one to one. Uh, and I'll just you know, abbreviate one to one. Okay, so that concludes this particular video. Um, I have lots of other videos if you like this, um, so you can check out some others. There's other topics related to this, so hopefully I'll see you next time.